Today, Jagex announced a brand new game mode, the Twisted League. This is a separate server to Old School RuneScape and essentially is a Zaya only Iron Man with boosted experience. Players complete tasks to gain points to then unlock relics. When you unlock a relic, you have a choice of three, all of which are super strong and have different effects. If you know me from Dead Man Mode, I love a server reset. I always go super hard and I'm really excited to get involved with leagues. It may sound confusing at first, but all will become clear as you join me on my journey. Welcome to the Twisted League. It's out, boys. Logging into Twisted Leagues for- Oh my god, this thing does never work, does it? We're in Tutorial Island. I'm gonna change my hair really quickly because if I'm gonna have to look at my character for the next two months, I don't wanna be looking at a bot. I don't know about you. Okay, let's go. I believe we can just go straight to the mainland with Skippy. Hopefully I don't choose the wrong relic along the way. Oh, it's got a bunch of XP. Nice. We got level 15 and all that stuff. Holy shit. Oh my god. Turn the fucking sound off. Jesus Christ. Okay, so how the Twisted League works is we get to choose a relic right at the start. If you see here, it's taking me through the tutorial. We can go on our relics tab. Oh my god. Very nice. Click on the flashing button to open it. Tasks. These are all the tasks we have to complete for points. Points give you relics and it's pretty simple really. The relics are here. I am going to pick Endless Endurance as it is infinite run and four times HP restore. So let's go ahead and confirm, lock that in for the duration. Oh, that's such a sick animation. Right, first order of business is to steal from a man and get five thieving because I want to go and thieve some cakes. Leagues is five times base XP. That might get multiplied in the future if there's a relic that boosts your XP. I've literally just not failed once. Okay, there we go. Okay, some starter GP there and we are five thieving. So I can go do some cakes now. I'm going to rattle through a bunch of these tasks to try and get the first relic as it's only at 400 points. And look at these, it's level 20s for the easy tasks. And if we look on the medium tasks, when you get level 40, you get 50 points. So you only have to do eight medium tasks to get 400. And the relics are so powerful, I figured that is very worthwhile. This is probably going to be my best food for quite a while. There's a lot of competition right now on this cake stall. It's giving me dead man throwback vibes. You're always thieving cakes early on in any new account, aren't you? Oh my god, I just fucking attacked this guard. No way. Get off me, bro. Okay, here comes our first ever task on the Twisted League. 20 thieving. And we get 10 league points for that. So if I go in here... Okay, I'm going to thieve some silk now as well because... I want to get some early GP and silk is a good way to do it. You can sell it for 60 each. If I think about 100, that's 6k and I don't really know how else to make money really early on. I do want to be able to buy a couple of weapons, so we're going to be thieving silk for the time being. My current plan is to just get as many points as possible so I can rush the relics, because the relics are going to be super overpowered. I don't want to do any grinding without those relics. Some could be double XP. We don't even know. There could be increased drop rates. Hello? The worlds are getting DDoSed, woo! There was a fatal error starting rune like, bro, that wasn't the plan, I'm getting smacked. I need to get the old school client up. Leagues is back on the menu, boys and girls. I've been logged out for like 40 minutes, but I've been thieving silk on mobile. Not very efficiently, I nearly died to the head guard a few times. But now I'm doing the client of Karen Quest. I picked up a feather from a chicken. And we're doing this to get double favor gaining rates because favor is annoying and two XP lamps, which could be useful for skills, which are more hard to train. Okay, the reason I didn't get points before is because you have to claim the points up here. I did not realize that at all. I'm doing this event for the fashion scape. Three tailed pheasant. This is XP waste, but we're going to get a hat or something that we can wear and it'll be absolutely amazing. Oh my God. First in the game, maybe. Let's go. World first pheasant outfit. Oh yes, baby. Look at these trousers we've got on. I am looking swag. I'm doing client of the Krend now so I can come to the library and get double the favor gain because I don't want to be stuck doing favor forever. It's really slow. If you know anything about Zaya, you know, favor is not a good thing. And I'm also on my way down to Veos now. I'm casting Wind Strike on any bats that I see, just so I can get some base mage levels as the books multiply your mage levels to get your XP that you gain from them. So it's definitely worth it. Now I'm out of runes and I'm seven magic. Not too bad. Okay, Veos, yeah, we know you're an evil stranger. The client is him. Spoiler alert, that's what's going on. And now I've completed the client of Kren Quest. I get double favor game, which is the reason that I was doing this in the first place. Because if you know Zaya, you'll know that it takes forever to gain any sort of favor. I get two XP lamps as well. 
but I'm not sure I want to spend those on just yet as I'm unsure what's going to be the hardest skill to train. So the reason I've come to library is because you can get easy magic XP, easy favor, and there's also tasks which include getting books, certain numbers of books. So every 25, 50, 100, I get points for that as well. Every time you get a skill to level 20, level 40, level 60, you also get a bunch of points. Now I'm gonna go for the medium tasks. So I want to get my skills to 40 or 60 to get 50 points rather than 10 points for the easy tasks. This should be really fast. I think it's around 150 bucks an hour if I concentrate here. So I should be done with library really soon and get a high mage level to start off the account. Oh, it says it's not buff, but it will be buff when I get the XP drop. 385, that's so nice. Oh, I completed a task of turning in one library book. See, there's tons of tasks to do in the library. So if I go on my tasks, I can claim the points for that. Now I have 30 points because I did Clank of Krend as well for another task. Watch me just spam the one key now. Give me all this XP, bro. Yes. What mage level have I got? 24 from that, very nice. And I get a task for that so I can get some more points. Another task there, turn in 10 library books. Okay, so I just found transportation incantations and that means I unlocked access to the Karen teleport spell, which is gonna be useful later on in the league once I get 69 magic. All right, here we go, first ever medium task this should be. Level 40 magic and I also got points for turning in 25 library books. See how we're doing? Two birds, one stone. Claim points. Now I have 290 till the next relic. Nice. I know I just got 40 mage, but the plan is to go for 60 as there's another medium task there. Also, there are medium tasks at 50 and 100 library books as well. So I just want to maximize my points. These seems like pretty easy medium tasks to get out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to get 100 Arceus favor, which means I can now actually craft blood runes unlock the Arceus spellbook and all that stuff, which is going to be really useful. I would have been doing all this anyway, so it's definitely worth doing. Plus, I'm pretty sure I got some points for that. Yep, I got some points. Let's go claim them, boys. I forgot, I can actually start doing dark manuscripts at 20 favor, so yeah. I'll be trading those in as well. They give the same XP as the library books. Just turned in 100 library books. I only got 10 points for that. I thought I was going to get 50, but now I should be able to finish off 60 magic which is a great way to start my account. Level 60, that is going to give me a bunch of points. If I look, I can claim 50 extra points. I'm over halfway to the first relic at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. I might train rune crafting here. I've been debating using a lamp on it because it will increase the base XP. I'm probably just, I'm just going to do it. Fuck it. And I'm going to use my other lamp on Hunter as well, as that's really annoying to train early days. You have to catch birds. So I'm going to do that as well. 15 runecrafting and Hunter. I'm just going to do some more books just to get maybe 40 runecrafting because I'll get, I will get 60 points for doing that. And hopefully I might reach another book milestone and get another bunch of points that way. Another reason I got 60 mages, my DPS is insane at the moment. I can currently do Fire Blast hitting 16, which will be my best combat style for quite a while, I imagine. 40 runecrafting, which gives me 50 points. I've no idea how close I am to 250 bucks, because that's going to give me an extra 50 points here. But I'm probably going to leave. I don't, I don't want to keep doing books, just for no reason. I'm really happy with my progress here, so we're going to be moving on. Trading in the silk that I stole on mobile, and now I'm actually rich, boys. How much am I going to get for this? I currently have 6k GP in total. All the plows are full. I've got to try and steal off someone else. Come on, let me have it, please. Please, 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 please. I really need this plow. Paid. Give me paid. Give me paid. I got it, yes. I came here because I get free crafting XP alongside farming and... Hopefully some Hesidious favor. This should give me 10 crafting. Now I can make bowstrings, which is going to be one of my best crafting training methods for the whole league, I think. You can pick flax at land's end and then spin it in Hesidious. I'm just going to do this till 5% Hesidious favor because it's really slow. I've been logged in for 17 minutes and I'm still not 5%. This has taken ages. Done with Hesidious favor. My boy, Dark World Order, yoinks the plow. So many people have been trying to get plows. It's been absolutely insane. Okay, that's all the salt piece that I need to mine. And now I need to go make these with the compost I bought earlier and put them into buckets of sulfurous fertilizer or whatever it is. I actually thought I was going to get some mining XP from that, but unfortunately I didn't. Higher mining level does make it go faster, so... Maybe I should have waited to do that one. No way, you get farming XP for this. 
Just gave in all my fertilizer, wasn't recording, but now I am 15% Hasidious favor, which means I can now go and do some fruit stalls. That's a task and also a really good thieving training method. Oh, that was the task. Steal a golov and a fruit top. However, this, however you say that, but I think I should have got 10 points for doing that one. I'm hoping I'll be able to get 15 fruits, which gives super compost in my time here. Okay, here we go. 40 thieving, which gives me a task completed and that is 50 points because it's at level 50 so only 90 more points and i get another relic leaving the stalls for now because i've got 15 fruit that i can put in my super compost and I've got my 40 thieving. Task completed, and that is another 10 points. I'm gonna get some really basic seeds here so I can start farming early because obviously I have to wait for the crops to grow, and that's not fun. I'm gonna set that, let it rot, and in the meantime, we're gonna plant some seeds I got from Master Farmers in here, get some early farming levels. I want to try and get to the farming guild as soon as possible, which is 45 farming, a quite a big requirement. However, I can do tithe farm at 34, which is the short-term goal here. There are so many people here. I literally have one copper ore to myself. I've come here to get 15 mining and bank myself 15 smithing as they're the two skills that I'm going to train to 40 next. Just got 20 mining. That's a task. Okay, I've banked all the ore I need to get 15 smithing. Whoa, whoa, we're going to die. <laughs> nearly died, boys. This is the pickaxe shop. I'm going to buy myself a mithril pickaxe. It's 1.6k. I just got some more points for 250 total level. Do I get a relic yet? No, I'm two points off still. You stroll up to the spot of your myth pick and you're the big dick alpha. Look at these little broke boys with their bronze pickaxes. They moved over in no time. <laughs> If you are enjoying the video, do not forget to subscribe. I'm going to be pretty much uploading daily this week as I grind out leagues. I'm going to be going super hard, so why not hop on board? That sounded fucking cringe. Here we go, 40 mining, and this is going to give me my first ever relic unlock. So now once I claim my points, I'll be able to see what the second relic is going to be. Tasks, claim points, and I can now unlock a new relic. Let's go. Okay, so I have the choice of Hardcore Harvester, Arcane Courier, Unnatural Selection. This one is three times resources of mining, fishing, woodcutting, basically herbs as well. That's really good. And farming cycles are one minute instead of five. So herbs take 16 minutes to grow and you get three times as many. That is really, that's really good. Arcane Courier, all windstar crates and resources gathered from mining go straight to the bank. I actually don't think I'd bother using that, so I don't think I'm going to pick that one. And then unnatural selection is probably the one I'm going to pick. When you receive a Slayer task and farming contract, you can choose whatever you're assigned. Imagine doing Slayer where you can choose your tasks. Oh my god, that's so OP. These two, the top and the bottom one, are definitely the best two for how I want to play leagues. But I think I'm going to go for the Slayer one because I don't want to be a slave to farm runs. So I'm going to select that one. Yes, let's lock it in. And I now have another relic. And the next relic is in 77, 770 points time. Nice. I'm mining a couple of coal ore so I can make myself a steel axe for Winter Todd. That is the plan. All right, from my mining grind, this is all the ore I have collected. I'm going to leave that there for now and start smithing them all. There's a furnace right next to this bank, so that is very convenient. It's almost like I planned this. Okay, I'm going to make arrow tips with all of my bars because it's the only way to get ranged ammo other than Slayer Shop or a monster drop. So to train early range, I'm gonna need a lot of arrows and this will get me fletching levels as well. So killing two birds with one stone. I can now make steel axes. That was the goal of doing all this smithing. So I can use a steel axe at Winstod and for my, <laughs> shut, the... <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Here we go, making myself a steel axe. Hey, all my crops grew. I am proud of my boys. Okay, farm run over and now I'm 20 and I've planted a whole bunch of new stuff. I'm probably going to have to thieve Master Farm at some point to get some better seeds because potatoes are really not too good. You find bird snares in this crate. I'm going to start Hunter and train a bunch of other skills at the same time. So we're literally taking out millions of birds and millions of stones. Okay, so as I'm doing this, I'm getting feathers. I'm getting bones to bury for my prayer. And also, I'm going to chop down trees nearby. I mean, there's a lot of people around here right now, but... I'm going to chop down trees nearby, train up my fletching, fire making, and wood cutting levels all at the same time. You can start on these birds at nine, which is part of the reason why I trained my hunter with a lamp from Client of Kren. Hunter task, and now I can lay two bird traps. And I've also completed my wood cutting and fire making tasks. So coming along nicely down here, training all these skills at once. Just got my 50 points for 40 fire making there. 
and we should be coming up with wood cutting as well soon. I think I'm going to stay here till I get 50 fire making for the inevitable. I went to Winter Todd. I bet there's a million videos on Winter Todd today. Hey, I'm not going to turn it into one of them, but I will be going at some point. There we are, 40 wood cutting, so that's another 50 points there. Another task done, 40 hunter there, giving me some more points. I'm actually progressing towards this relic pretty well right now. I need 550 more to get a bonus XP relic. It's already been leaked ahead of time. So I need something to AFK while I just chill out, eat some food, all that sort of stuff. So I've come to spin my flax. I've been picking up flax. I've got 400 in the bank and hopefully that's going to get me to 40 crafting so I can get my 60 league points for 20 and 40 respectively there. The bank's actually kind of far from the spinning wheel but there's really not too many good ways to train crafting early on in leagues. Slight miscalculation. I am 38 crafting. I thought I'd be able to get to 40 with those bowstrings but apparently not i can always come back in the future do some more flax but for now i think i'm going to go and afk train some melees while i edit this video there we go 20 range meaning i've got base 20s for my combat stats and i should have a bunch of points to claim boom 480 till the next relic and if we log out and in real quick we will be able to witness solo mission is on top rank one overall right now you know me I, I'm not rank one overall for league points because a lot of people, you can get pets really early on and they give you like 500 points. So, hmm, maybe I'll get a pet in the future or catch up some other way. For now, I'm just going to train some wood cutting and fire making and make my way to Winter Todd once I reach 50. I know I've trained my HP up a bit, but I needed something to AFK while I edited the video. So, combat seemed like a good place to start. Plus, I get four times HP regen, so... It's not that much big of a deal, to be honest, with cakes. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure you subscribe, like the video. I'm going to be going super hard this week on Leagues. I know it's been a lot of bashing out early level skilling and stuff, but I'm planning to go a Slayer route and do some really cool PVM because it's Zaya locked, so it's going to be interesting what gear I can get myself. If you're playing, hope you're enjoying playing. If you're watching, hope you enjoy watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ooh.